Welcome back! In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I wanted to make a banner. Mine says, Give Thanks, and I enlisted the help of my good friend, Polka Dot Tot. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description, so be sure to check her out. Because she is an expert at DIYs. You'll need these cutout letters, which we picked up at Michael's. They didn't have a K, so we got this glittery cardboard and made our own K. We'll also use this for decorating the letters. You'll need some spray paint to make the letters all glittery. We chose silver. You'll also need some ribbon. This is what you will glue your letters onto, and this is how you will hang your banner. I just love the Thanksgiving pattern. You'll need your hot glue gun to hold everything together, and some newspaper because this can get kind of messy. The first thing you want to do is lay your letters out on top of the newspaper. If you're doing this inside, don't be afraid to double up the newspaper because the spray paint gets pretty wet and you don't want it to soak through onto your furniture. Go ahead and do your spray paint dance, shake it up, and go on and spray those letters. You don't want to spray them too much because they'll get very, very wet and it won't dry. So one to two coats should be just enough. This part's really fun and I just love how glittery and sparkly the letters get. So pretty and festive. You're going to let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. And after 15 to 20 minutes, if it's still runny and dripping like ours, we took a paper towel and just lightly dabbed at it to get any excess liquid off of the letters. Now we're ready to go ahead and decorate. So take your glittery cardboard, cut it out into any shapes you like, from stripes, circles, zigzags, hearts, whatever. Just make it your own and go ahead and place them on the letters wherever you like. Next, do the same thing with the ribbon. And don't be afraid to mix and match the ribbon with the glittery cardboard on the same letter. This is what total teamwork looks like. Once you have everything in place, take your hot glue gun and go ahead and just glue everything down onto the letters. I really focused on the K because I wanted to make sure you couldn't tell that it was different from all of the other letters, which probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. The whole point of this is the funkier the better. Once it's dry, take your ribbon again and go ahead and measure out exactly how long you want it to be. Keep in mind you'll be gluing the letters on and you want to keep enough length at both ends so you're able to hang it. Once you have the ribbon cut, lay it down and put your first word, give, on it. Space the letters out exactly how you want them. And then what you're going to do is just hot glue gun the back top of the letters and press down firmly onto the ribbon. Repeat this for every letter and also make sure as you go along to lift up the letters so that they're not sticking to the newspaper. Once your first word is all nice and dry, go ahead and fold it up, move the ribbon down a little bit and it's time to put the word thanks on. Make sure you also leave space between the word give and thanks so they're separated. After you repeat all the steps, and the word thanks is also dry, you are officially finished. Yay! Now you have an awesome Thanksgiving banner to hang wherever you want. We chose to hang it above the doorway where family and friends will be eating Thanksgiving dinner and everyone can enjoy it. Happy Thanksgiving! Bye! Thanks for watching, love Lula and Tot what I was doing and I realized, I'm like, no, 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 the camera's down here. Yeah. And now I can look at my hair too. <laughs> yeah.